As of last week, I have officially been writing the names of my fishing buddies on my boat for three years now. And honestly, it's been some of the craziest times of my life too. Throughout this whole process, we have, you know, made some incredible, incredible, incredible friends. So there are thousands of names on my boat, but some of the most incredible moments that have happened so far over the years have been James Barker Band brought me out on uh, to a concert of theirs, brought me up on stage, drank beer with them while we sang uh, Live in the Dream. Santa Claus sent my kids a video uh, to wish them a happy Merry Christmas the one year. I've had countless brands reach out to me, sending me all sorts of cool stuff, fishing gear, clothing. I've had hats designed after the boat. We've had a bunch of TV shows reach out too. And like one of the coolest ones for sure is the Red Green Show. Like they brought me out to the Canadian Comedy Hall of Fame and I got to meet Red himself, and I thought that was one of the coolest moments ever. And I've learned to, to not just hold up my phone and record everything and actually savor the moment. So I didn't actually make a lot of content during that day, but it was worth every second. And surely I'm leaving out a lot because there's been so much that has happened in three years, but uh, one of the funniest things that I think I, I always make fun of myself for, I have a fishing page on Instagram and TikTok, and I don't actually post a lot of fishing content. And that is the entire purpose of what we're about to start doing. So I had this idea that I wanted to start catching fish for my fishing buddies, because I get a lot of people that, you know, they don't have access to a boat or they don't have the funds or the time or whatever the, main, the reason is. And I feel like I'm disappointing them because I don't actually post a lot of fishing content. So I've been crazy busy this spring and I need to start getting the boat ready, but I am going to start catching at least one fish for every 100 subscribers that I get on my YouTube channel. Now, I'm not talking about like small fish or anything either too. We're gonna have to have a limit on each species as far as what counts. Now, I'm not gonna have panfish counting towards my total unless they're like, you know, a, a good size. I'm talking like bass, pike, walleye, muskie, trout, salmon. But as of right now, I am at 1,500 subscribers, and I have caught zero fish. So I'm gonna challenge every single one of you guys to make it impossible for me to keep up. That means you're gonna have to like, subscribe, and share this to your friends. Are we naming fish? Maybe we're even gonna name some fish here too, so drop a comment. But if you like this idea, let me know. First thing that I need to do is uh, put an enamel on the rest of the names that I haven't clear coded yet. All right, we're back, the enamel's dry. We're keeping our stick on the ice here today. But one thing that I did notice after going through the boat a little bit last night, that one of my main batteries that runs my trolling motor, as well as my lights, ended up suffering a casualty during the, uh, the last trade show. Big cracked corner here and we've got the water leaking out of it. So we need to go get a new battery. I think while I'm at, uh, at the store, I'm gonna see if we can find something to rig up to the boat for trolling for spring walleye. For a long time, I've only just been like holding my rod in one hand and the trolling motor in the other because it's a little tiller and trying to troll like that. But uh, uh, fellows at Guide Lines, you know, treated me like, uh, well, it spoiled me is what it is. And uh, now I don't want to do that anymore. I want to just be able to drive the boat and wait for a hit, so. All right, so we picked ourselves up a new 12 volt. We're gonna slap that into it when we get home, get everything wired back up. We picked up one of these. I have no idea how I'm gonna mount this onto the boat, but we're gonna figure it out and it's gonna freaking kick ass. Wow, this battery blew up. It even like deteriorated the wire on my fuse for my light switches. I don't know why I need it, it's just a fuse. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh no, my wife's about to catch me with my GoPro on my head. You look ridiculous. I bet I look ridiculous. <laughs> Boom. Now we've got that in there. We're gonna give this a little benderoo. All right, time to get the battery. Hi, Dad. Hey, bud. 
Okay, this thing is gonna bounce around in here nonstop, so let's figure out a way to cushion it first. Ah. Yeah, there's our measurement right there, that one. Let's see. All right. Ah. Ah. Oh no, that's gonna be too high. Let's cut that piece out of it. Oh. Jesus. Don't do this at home. Let's see, do we have clearance? That looks good. All right, moment of truth. Ha ha, how about the LEDs? Oh, yes sir. All right, don't mind the mess back here, but we have a trolley motor too. Can't forget the backup duct tape, that goes down there. Never know when you're gonna need backup duct tape. Safety kit. Now we need to figure out how can we attach this guy. I'm thinking right here, so when I'm running, I'm sitting, holding the trolling motor, the rod's here, running, and I'm sitting, my knees are facing right here, trolling walleye. Okay, my first thought is, this is gonna rip this whole section right off. A little screw and a washer. Oh yeah, that's already way stronger. That's handy, that is handy. So I have a feeling like, it's almost like they're not quite big enough. Okay, I'm back and I've got four more nuts than what I left off with. And that should work perfectly for reinforcing this. Okay, that is awesome. That is gonna work just fine. I don't know why, but I always love having a little bit of electrical tape with me when I'm out on the water. Throw that in there, gas can. Most expensive part of the boat. Don't forget the duct tape. All right, I think we're ready to hit the water. Hey GoPro, stop recording. 